Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What up, gang gang? Appreciate you tapping in once again, because if you're looking at this video, that means you've been rocking with me. And if it's your first time, I appreciate that too. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification bell as I continue to bring you heat. You know, in between uploads, I try to educate myself uh, on some platform of this YouTube uh, life. And whether it's uh, content editing, building your subscribers, um, and on, I appreciate uh, the little nuggets that I gain. Along the way, I've even participated in some webinars, uh, master classes, et cetera, et cetera. And it's really helping me to build a couple of different um, things that I got going on. Um, one I've told you about before, the coursework that I'm going to be creating so that you can register and get that. But then the other one is uh, a dream and a passion that I've had for a while. It's an invention that I want to get out. So I really enjoy the uh, learning aspect of uh, YouTube and YouTubing. And one of the things I heard more recently was uh, people come to YouTube for two reasons. To be educated or entertained. And I know that I'm a wonderful entertainer. People always tell me, like, you know, I'm a smile in the room. Um, I brighten up the place. But here we are in this virtual world and you don't know me. And I think in a relationship or just in the open world uh, where I can interact with other people, it would be a lot more entertaining. But me uh, being a single person, living alone, don't even have my fur baby yet. moment of silence so it's kind of hard to uh entertain you that way so i thought let me take heed to that message and figure out what my niche is and what i feel like i'm confident in um educating people on and i came up with two things uh mental health and parenting child rearing uh, things of that nature First and only soda today. I just had my wonderful Sunday dinner. I'm going to do my old mad today, one meal a day. And um, later I'm going to just break down some veggies and have a helpful snack. All right, so stay tuned. Again, let me bring you close. Oh. I was reading a text message, my bad. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace. Welcome back, welcome back. So this is episode two of my, I don't know if it's a four or five part series on secure and insecure attachment, attachment as a hold. This episode, we're going to discuss the five roles that a parent has in developing and initiating secure attachment with their child. Five roles. Role number one, nurturing. To nurture your child is to show affection, 
show love, smile at them, uh, kiss them, uh, stroke their body lightly, uh, hold them close, let them feel your heartbeat, okay? Filter the emotions and show comfort. Two, to design and guide. By design and guide, I mean show them the limitations. Not everything is okay. Not everything is safe. Model for them how they should interact with you and others. Set boundaries and establish routines. Everything needs to be a routine for a child. They need the structure to maintain properly. Okay. Third role that a parent has in securing attachment with the child. Responding. Responding. By that I mean the consistency that you're doing with the child and showing them that they're welcome and getting the parallel language going on, adapting to the cues, knowing what each cry or each moment means. Uh, my god mom used to ask me, how did I know with certain things? Like when I know that a person is about to struggle with the door or I see that someone needs help uh, opening something or you know, I'm just always hyper vigilant. Um, unfortunately, part of that is my anxiety diagnosis, but also it's just the nurturer in me to kind of, you know, I scan. And if I see someone that I feel like is having difficulty or needs help, then I rush to it. And my godmom, I guess, wasn't familiar with that. And she used to ask me all the time, like, how did you know? How did you know that they would need that? How did you know that she needed? When you care, you know. And you respond properly. And that's what children need most of all. So, fourth one. Communication. In the beginning, this starts off as naming the objects. If I see my child continuing to glance at a fan, I'm not going to say, boy, what you looking at? I'm going to say, oh, you see the fan? If I see my child glancing at my phone, you see the phone? You see the numbers? You see the red screen? You name things. The next thing you name is emotions. Oh, you feel hungry. Oh, you want more milk. Oh, you like your blue shirt. Oh, you want your noisy toy. Communicating with them. It's amazing to me how many parents, I even posted a meme about the reading one, will say, why won't my child talk more? And they barely ever talk to their child. Wait for it. The fifth one, supportive learning. Be amazed. Allow the child to explore. Wonder what they're wondering. Um, make opportunities. You know, uh, put the pot down there that it's okay for them to bang on. Uh, make the room so that they can move around without you yelling for them to stop and put that down for every single freaking thing. When they don't get why something is inappropriate, help them understand that supportive learning. Recap. Nurturing. Designing and guiding. Responding. Communicating. And supportive learning. Top five roles for a parent to help develop secure attachment. Stay tuned for the next episode. And like I promised, I would end every video with a bonus extra credit parenting tip. So let's talk about difficult bedtimes. Quiet the house. Reduce the lighting in the house. 
Do not appear to be enjoying the time that you will be up and the child will not. Be consistent. And most importantly, develop a nighttime routine. To each his own, no judgment. But I do not agree with TVs in the bedroom. It is a setup for failure. If we really do the research, I promise you would agree. So you need to have a quiet, inviting bedroom, free of chaos, a bed of nightlight, and a routine. The best routine ever is going to be a warm bath, a story time, maybe even a little prayer, some nurturing and affection and contact. And see if that doesn't help you. Namaste. Peace.